I'm Charlene from Susu Dressmaking and today I am going to talk you through my top five sewing books. So I've done a vlog, one of my first ones that I did, I will link it below, but going through like general favourite sewing tools and things that I have in my sewing room that I like couldn't do without and I had mentioned books in it but I didn't go into a lot of detail on it so I'm going to talk you through it. it was so so hard getting this down to five books um yeah so i'm gonna publish a blog post as well which i will link below too and it has maybe like a top 10 on it so there's a few extra ones in there too and um, max is here again with me today he knows that the kids usually avoid me at this time so when i'm filming so he comes in for me a bit of attention but anyway so the first book on my list is the Winifred Aldrich um, metric pattern cutting for women. So I have had this book since university. It was, this is what we used to do our pattern drafting and it's what I've always used since. The pattern drafting courses that I teach, this is the book that we use. So I mean, I recommend it to everyone, even if, if you have an interest in pattern hacking, I would absolutely recommend it for that as well because it has everything in it. So if we go to, so you have all your blocks at the start, but then I'm going to show you, so it shows you different ways of um, changing the bodice like darts and things like that. And then we have the section on sleeves. So you know, obviously different plain sleeves there, but it also shows you, you know, your bishop sleeve and a lantern sleeve so that's actually similar to the Casa Castillo top um, and then there's loads of different ones like a flared sleeve there um, how to add volume to the sleeve here, puff sleeves so many different things in this and if I'm ever changing anything about a pattern this is the first place that I look before I even search on the internet or anything like that because it has everything in it so different even the um I should have had these marked like different skirts um and draping and stuff like that you know the sort of like coil effect so there's always you know even if it's not um say you're looking to do a coil top but you can find a hack for it there still might be something in this book. It might be for skirt, but it's the same principle anyway. So yeah, I absolutely love this. I think the books that I use more, you can tell because they're kind of like all white around the edges. But so this is the fourth edition. I know there are, I've heard that there's slight changes to some of the other ones. I think it's up to like maybe the eighth or ninth edition or something like that now. Um, but yeah, this is a fantastic book. Even as I say, if you don't want to try drafting your own patterns, which it does talk you through all of that. Um, it is great if you just like pattern hacking as well, because if you have a basic pattern, then you can do anything with it, and this covers most of it. There's also a few wee um, fitting tips at the back, so how to adjust for like, obviously your full bust adjustments, neckline adjustments, sleeves adjustments, all that sort of thing. So yeah, this is probably the book that I have used the most out of all of my sewing books. So yeah, I absolutely love this one. And I say it's the, it's the oldest book that I have too. Well, the oldest book that I have bought. The next one is older again. So the next one, this one, you will probably have to look about for this one. So definitely look out in charity shops and secondhand bookshops and like eBay. So it's the Reader's Digest Complete Guide to Sewing. And it is massive. Um, my mum gave me this one whenever I started teaching sewing lessons and it has been amazing. I mean, there is everything in this book. Like, there's, you just can't even begin to describe. There's patterns at the back. There's hem finishes, pockets, sleeves, waistlines, just everything. Everything that you could possibly go through when you're making a pattern, it covers all of it. There's designing your own patterns, so there is, it covers a wee bit on like blocks and stuff. Um, there's a section, again, adjustments, like I think if for anyone starting off, like in my beginner classes, I always do recommend trying to find this book. I mean, ask around relatives and stuff too, you have no idea 
who might have a copy of this book just sitting about at home that isn't getting used. There's a section in it, if I can find it here. I should have went through and found all these. So, solving common sewing machine problems. I mean, there's like, the writing is tiny in that, but like it covers most problems that you could ever encounter with your sewing machine. So even like for that page alone, it is probably worth getting it. Um, and yeah, there's just there's everything in it. It's probably it probably is like the original sewing book, like that mm, a lot of other sewing books could be based on. But I'm not saying that for sure. But um, yeah, it is a fantastic reference to have. I have used it quite a lot for like my as I said my beginner sewing classes. There's really clear pictures in it, even though it is quite dated. All the information in it is is still up to date. I do think at the back as well there's like you know some sort of old school patterns here too um like obviously the good old apron and oven mitt baby stuff so it shows you here like a grid which you can then draw the pattern out onto if you ever felt like it but yeah some great things in here toy where is it this here is really really cool like I mean I know my kids would love that right now still I should probably make that for them you could use up like wee scraps and all from the the spikes in the back there but anyway getting off off point yeah definitely keep an eye out for this book if you don't have it ask around see if anyone you know has it any relatives um and yeah secondhand bookshops and ebay definitely a good one to pick up so then the next one, this is quite a new book for me and already, I mean, I've, I've barely sort of scratched the surface with it, but I have learned so much already from it. So if you've followed me along with my um, weekly planning and stuff, I have mentioned of my weekly roundups, I've mentioned the blazer that I'm making, the blue one, and I have used this book so many times. There's loads of really great information in it. The pictures are all so clear I'm going to show you here again there's adjustments in this as well but the like just different methods for pressing your fabric so not obviously we all know there's a difference between pressing and ironing but sometimes you know whenever you iron something there's that line that shows through it goes through how to avoid all those sorts of things Um, really great tips for tailoring if you were ever wanting to make a jacket or a blazer or coat we definitely recommend getting this book the instructions in it are so clear there's loads of really really great techniques in it and yeah i have absolutely i mean all i've really covered is the wealth pockets they were so so good it was like a complete revelation for me i have done wealth pockets before they've been okay but they've never been perfect but this book talked me through it so clearly so well and yeah it was the, they are definitely the best well pockets I have ever made. So just for that, um, yeah, I absolutely love this book. Um, so yeah, definitely a good one if you're interested in any sort of tailoring or coats or jackets or anything like that. So then the next one again, you've probably heard me talk about this one before too. It is Wendy Ward's A Beginner's Guide to Sewing with Knitted Fabrics. So with Wendy Ward's books I there's just so so much information in them that if you never make a pattern out of it it's worth having it especially this one so I have never really worked with knit fabrics before or anything I just kind of have essentially taught myself from this book it covers so many things so like um there's a great section at the start where it goes through let's see um, there's wee tables all through it where it tells you, you know, the right needle to use for the right type of fabric, the right seam to use, the right hem to use, all that sort of stuff. So just having these great wee tables throughout the book at the start, it's so handy to reference. I mean, whenever I was making my swimsuit there recently, I grabbed this, checked what needle I should be using and that was it. It was so easy to just, it was there, it was in the table, I knew how to find it. Um, anytime I'm using... If I'm not too sure what needle to use for like a knit garment or knit fabric, 
this is the first place I go to it's so good the patterns in it as well are amazing so I have again if you follow me you know I have made or one of my most worn patterns or garments is my kinder cardigan um, am I shaking there? no Max is brushing past um, so my kinder cardigan one of the most worn patterns or garments that I have it's just it's fantastic I wear it all the time um, there's a couple of different views. I've also made the Darwin trousers, the wide leg trousers. I have two pairs of them and the Monsa lounge pants are my latest make from this. Um, again, brilliant make. There's loads of different uh, variations that come with them. I think I'm going to try the pink t-shirt next. So yeah, like there's loads of different ways that you can sort of customize them. So obviously, like these are the Monster Lounge pants. Shows you how to do like the stripe down the side. You can add cuffs, and um, contrast around the pockets, all that sort of thing. So there's, and then even with the t-shirt, like it kind of takes it a wee bit further. So how you can add like different panels in, which I mean with a knit fabric isn't always going to be the easiest. Like loads of wee details, and um, that's a wee bit of sharing. Um, how you can turn it into a dress, loads of things. So yeah, definitely a brilliant book to have if you have never sewn with knitted fabrics before or stretchy fabrics. Definitely get this book. Um, and even if you have, it's just it's such a good reference to have, and the patterns in it are really really good. I I have never had trouble with any of Wendy Ward's patterns. I've made a few now. I have two of her books, and yeah, absolutely love them. So yeah, definitely recommend that one. And then the last one is one that most people have as well is Breaking the Pattern. So I have a couple of other books that, like, you know, books from a sewn pattern company with a lot of patterns in them. But out of all of them, this has to be my most used purely because of the Ruska t-shirt. So I have four t-shirts and two dresses made from this pattern and it's just it's a really good base for making a like a dress or top or whatever oh and a jumper I have a jumper as well so seven times I've used the pattern um, it's a really great base for hacking like a knitted pattern it's I really like the fit of it and the shape of it so always use it then I think I have made most of the variations, so I haven't made the coat or the shirt. I haven't made the Saras shirt um, or the jumpsuit. I've used the, oh no I have, I've made the Selena top. Um, I'll try and put pictures of all these things in and I've made the U2 skirt. I have made the trousers and the bag, but I have used quite a lot of this. The great thing about this book, I think, especially again, if you're a beginner, I always recommend beginners getting books because you do have all that information at the start before you even get into making, you know, a pattern. It gives you, covers all the bases that you need. But, and what I love about this one is if you work through the book in order, it starts from a simple bag and then with each pattern you add on a new skill so you're constantly like building you're not just jumping into something like really really difficult it kind of takes you through each step which I think is really really nice Um, if you don't like sticking or tracing the patterns off you can get them all printed in A0 which is obviously really really handy and yeah you can see like there's loads of pattern pieces hanging out there I have used Um, yeah I'd say this is probably the book that I've made the most from. I think Tilly and the Buttons, Make It Simple is probably up there, close sec um, second. But yeah, really, really love this book. I know a lot of people already have it. Um, it was, there was so much hype about this book whenever it came out. I mean, I have made a couple other named clothing patterns and love them. Obviously there's my suit, my Ava blazer and tinny trousers, absolutely love them. And yeah, I think they are a great company and really modern designs. And yeah, absolutely love this one. So yeah, those are my top five sewing books. As I said, it was so hard to narrow it down to just five. Um, 
and then I was going to do like six or seven or eight and then I thought you know if I keep adding it's just going to keep getting out of hand so I think the other ones that I have included I'll see if I can oh, the other ones I did include were so obviously telling the buttons make it simple I think it's a brilliant book for beginners and for anyone just wanting something quick and easy just to fulfill that creative urge then there's one I'd got for Christmas this year pattern magic and I'm definitely gonna build on that it's um it is like a Japanese I want to say I'm not too sure it's a sort of more out there patterns um I'll pop a few pictures in but it, it would definitely be a more advanced pattern drafting book. There's some really cool like shapes and like origami sort of style folding and all that sort of thing in it. Um, so I haven't actually made anything out of it, but I have got loads of inspiration from it and I'm definitely going to make some. There's actually three in that series. Then the Pam Repletch Tissue Fitting Guide. So it is all about fitting issues, mostly dresses and skirts. There's another one that I'm going to get for that covers trousers definitely want it but it has it's tissue fitting for real people so it has loads of like real life models in it and um, different shapes different sizes and covers all the different sort of issues really clear photos and how to fix everything and then they do have a range of patterns with McCall's as well which have all the like lines and stuff the that they would use in the tissue fitting guide so it is a really good one if you want to sort of delve into tissue fit and get a perfect fit on your garments. Then another one of the first books I got is the My Capsule Wardrobe, so in a perfect capsule wardrobe I think. It again has five really simple patterns in it but there's loads of possibilities with it like loads of hacks and different things that you can do with it and the information at the start of that one again is really really great. There's I think the fly zip insertion the way they explain that in it is really really clear and yeah there's some really good basic patterns that you can then sort of tweak whatever way you want and the last one that I included in my top 10 was couture sewing techniques so this is something that I kind of want to just look at in a bit more depth this year I want to focus on sort of slowing down my sewing which I have been trying to do a bit and yeah that was one of the books that I wanted to sort of look at and kind of build on my sewing techniques um, and kind of up my sewing game so yeah that is the other one that is on my top 10 so as I said I will link my blog post below and I'll put a link to all the books as well these are all available in my Amazon storefront so I'll link it below plus there's I think there's like 20 odd books in there maybe so yeah there's definitely there's more in there that you can have a wee look at I, I probably could have done a top 20 if I'm being honest um because I do I absolutely just I love I would pick up a book quicker um before I would google something I'd like absolutely I just think it's if you have a good range of books that cover most bases so like you know pattern books fitting books that sort of thing then you kind of you don't really need to google it or look it up on the internet it's it's easier to find it and find a resource that is probably more um reliable too so yeah definitely i'm a big big fan of books and obviously like my mum passed one of these books down to me and hopefully if either of my kids have an interest in someone I'll be able to pass these down to them too um, which I think is really really nice it's it's quite special I think to have that sort of passed on through generations so yeah I hope you have enjoyed this and um, if you have any other recommendations for books please please leave them in the comments below because obviously I am happy to keep adding to um, my little library that I have and I will catch up with you all soon. Oh, today I am wearing again my Tilly in the Buttons Alexa jumpsuit. Um, so comfy and cosy and comfortable to wear. So yeah, I hope you are all having a nice day and I will chat to you all soon. Bye.